Open Google Classroom on your mobile device, then click on the People icon, then on the Student Selector icon. You can use this for calling on random students during online learning, but for this demonstration, I'm showing you how you can use it to track attendance. Once you go through your list, click on any of the selections and you get to see an overview of your choices. On this spreadsheet, you can then go in and mark who was present or absent. Let me show you how to create one of these. So I selected my cells that I want to enter the month and the year and I choose, I merge those two cells and then just add your information and customize it to your preference. Next, I'll enter the names of the students and the class, or you can do it however to suit your needs. Next, select the, the cell that you would like to enter the dates. And you can go ahead and start typing in the date for the for the month, the first day of the month that you're going to be working. And this is because this is for school. We'll be using Monday through Fridays. Now I will then copy the information from one cell onto the others so that I don't have to do this individually. Now because you're copying is going to give you the entire month. So you can easily go back and make edits just to make sure that it's Monday through Fridays so that you're selecting only. Because December is generally a short month for school, I'm going, I'll be deleting the extra days that were created. I select all of those cells and I just resize one and it's going to resize all automatically. Now I want to add my data validation and the data validation would be if it's present or absent or whatever you want that to be. So I click on one cell, then I go to data, data validation, list from a range. If you're using multiple information, like multiple icons or symbols or letters, you would choose a list or you can just choose one item. Now I'm copying that information from one cell to all the others so that I don't have to do them individually. Now it's time to create your conditional formatting. So with all the cells still selected, I go to Format, Conditional Formatting, and I'm choosing the formula if the text is exactly, and in this case, I'm putting A for absent, and you choose what color you want that cell to light up once you enter that value. If you want to make it present to have a different color you can do, go through the same steps and this time you put in the P and you select your color. I personally prefer not to do present if you I'll only record those who are absent but for demonstration purposes this is how you do it for even if you wanted to add a tardy. So I'm going to show you the way I did it so that it's all green and only if a student is absent will I put in any information.
again I want to select all the cells that I will that I want I'll be entering text into and in this case I'm choosing if the cell is empty what color I want it to be highlighted and I click done now if a student is absent I'll click on that student's name and select A and that's that I'll rename you can rename that sheet and you can also duplicate the sheet so that if you're teaching multiple classes and you're tracking attendance for each of those and thank you very much